Hey everybody, welcome back to Jazz Land, my channel, Jazz Land Second Life, where I'm all about decor and Second Life. Shopping for decor, putting out decor, finding decor, blah, 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 blah. Now, there's my mouse again. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on because you need to see what I'm doing. So today, I want to show you guys something that I learned from Quincy Robin over on her channel. Um, about being able to delete scripts for texture changes and stuff like that because it will help reduce lag number one and I'm gonna show you something annoying you see this chair I'm sitting on I love this chair it's from Tarte but if I click on it to get a menu look what happens I change the cushions and I'm not trying to do that see that I'm trying to get the menu so sometimes it gets annoying because you click on something and it starts to change the texture instead of <laughs> giving you a menu. So I'm going to show you how to remove some scripts. Ready? It's really easy, I promise. So actually, I probably need to get out of this chair because, uh, <laughs> yeah, get out of the way. Let me get out of the way. There's my platform. Let me scooch it. Scooch it over. Can I stand over here? Sure can. All right. So let's start. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's start with this plant from Mithril. I got it from the sale. And if you notice, when I click on it, it says green plants, but I can change it to purple plants. See that? Now let me turn it around. This is the terrarium from the sale last weekend. All right. <clears throat> so I can change it from green purple green see I like the purple so we're gonna keep it that way <laughs> so let me show you the easiest way if you right click on it and click edit and you go to the content because normally you'll be here so go through your tabs go to content do you see this texture change purple plants green plants those little note cards or go with the script so if I want to get rid of it all I have to do and I'm holding the control key while I click on those to select them all all I have to do is right click and then delete them then I close it now when I click on it see there's no there's no pop-up so I've removed the script and now People can't click on it and change it. I can't click on it and change it. Now, here's the disclaimer to that. You wanna make sure that you only delete scripts from things that have a copy permission. See that down there? Make sure it's copy, guys. Because if it's not, then you'll never be able to change that item again. Okay, make sure it's copyable. Then you can delete scripts. Because this is still in my inventory as the original. So I can just res out a new one if I want to make it a green one, right? So make sure it's copy before you start messing with scripts and then make a copy of it, and pull it out. All right, so that's how you do that. This one is a little bit more um, involved, let's say. So for this, I'm gonna right click and click edit. Now it's got a lot of different parts. See how we've got the blue, the blue, and then the yellow highlight? It's because it's linked together. See how it says unlink? All of this is linked as one piece. So in order to just change the cushions, because if I click on content right now, do you see the content of the whole chair? Do you see these AV sitters? And then you see all these animations? We want to keep those there because if you delete these, you can't sit on it anymore and it won't do anything. So you go up here to edit linked and check that box. And then you click, see my content box is empty. Then you click on the cushion. See how it just highlighted this one cushion, this one part of it. And then there's the texture change. That's the only script right there in this piece. So I'm gonna click on that, right click, delete. So I've now taken the script to change the texture out of this cushion 
Now I'm going to jump over here to this one and there's the texture change for this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete and then click that again. But see my sitter scripts, sitter scripts, <laughs> they're still there. See that? So I can still sit on the chair, but now when I click on it, it's not going to change. I'm clicking. I know you can't hear that, but it's not going to change my cushions, which is awesome <laughs> because I don't want it to change the cushions. So now I fix that. So yeah, that is the way to modify your copyable objects. Make sure they're copy. See this? Go to general. See down here? It's copyable. So there's still ones in my inventory, even though I rezzed one out. But make sure they're copyable and that will help reduce lag especially if you're on mainland the more scripts you can remove the better but that's how to do it so hopefully i mean this was quick yay and hopefully this helps you out but if you like the video make sure that you give it a thumbs up because it helps my videos be seen and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'm going to be coming out with more stuff. And if there's anything you want to see in relation to decor or shopping for decor, or you have any questions, then just let me know in the comments and I will answer you. Got it? All right, guys, have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.